Just a few minutes drive away from the heart of Qatar's capital Doha, this residential compound is now hosting Afghan refugees. The accommodation was meant for visitors during the FIFA Football World Cup next year, but the situation in Afghanistan has changed quickly, causing many to flee. Those arriving here are given health checks. There is a clinic operating around the clock and a PCR examination. This compound containing a mosque was closed, but we opened it because our Afghan brothers wanted it to pray. And for the occasion, the first Friday prayer was held yesterday. Qatar has been at the center of diplomatic efforts with the Taliban, who are now in power in Afghanistan. And it was also closely involved in evacuating people from Kabul airport, one of the largest humanitarian evacuations in history. The United Nations and FIFA praised its involvement. It's impressive, it's amazing that Qatar is doing this. And Qatar has done so much from hosting the talks here for so long, from helping now to build the airlift for humanitarian supplies to start going back into Afghanistan, and for helping in many, many different ways to help resolve the conflict for the benefit of its people. Uh, the fact that this compound has been able to be transformed into a home uh, for people from Afghanistan for a transitional period is something that, uh, of course, uh, fills us with joy. The United States and European countries are also being urged to host refugees. But for now, it's the host nation for the Football World Cup in 2022 that's making its new facilities available for humanitarian relief. Asad Beg, Al Jazeera, Doha.